Let's go! Oh my god! Oh, we should go out. Oh yeah. Cheers to dance. To dance. <laughs> Have a drink. Nobody will know where we are. We're missing an action. She screams at those kids one more time. I'm gonna lose it. I know you need to get Maddie seen. I understand. That's like the whole goal of all of us doing anything is for that. I am not getting Chloe's head shot. We spend thirty billion dollars to dance for her, and then you get all over. Oh, cheers to dance. <laughs> Wait, can I have another glass of wine real quick? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I, I cannot believe it. These moms are ridiculous. They are in a bar drinking, and their kid needs to be on stage in 20 minutes. Are you two good to go? Yeah, we're gonna leave in All a right. Double fisted, it's not good. I don't double fist when I'm with my kids. I double fist when I'm in college. Okay. Oh, you guys, you are beautiful. Yeah. What go. Just, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, goodbye, you guys. Let's go. Oh my god, we're not even allowed to talk. We walk into rehearsals this morning, and Kelly is nowhere to be found. If Kelly doesn't come back, Abby can feel free to replace me too, because you know what? We're a two for one. No Kelly, no Christy. Because I'm not putting up with these people alone. I hit a jack on. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Look at Abby God. here. Too pure to be pink, Abby. <laughs> Kelly on probation for cursing in the studio, 1979. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? God, Paige is gonna get tortured. No, yeah, she's in a good mood. You were her servant no, today. No, you, yeah, you, you hooked her up. You only stole two things. And... <laughs> Shut up, Jill. I think you're, you're ahead of the game. You know Abby's gonna have something to say, and you know, I. I'm trying to behave myself and kiss her ass this week, so I'm gonna sit here and bite my tongue. That's so hard to do. <gasps> Kelly, this is where you called her a whore. <laughs> oh, Kelly, go get a job. Oh, you are a whore. I have to behave here this year. You could be like, whore the sequel. <laughs> yeah, I missed it last year. I was oh, working. Holly, it wasn't good. Whore the sequel. <laughs> We're off to about to start if we don't even know what direction the subway is. Kelly and I decided that we were going to go out and explore the city today, like real New Yorkers. We wanted to walk, we wanted to take the subway, and kind of find out what's what it's really like to live in New York. Is that enough? Woo! We got the right train! Kelly and I stumbled upon a cute little bar that's kind of our speed. So we went in and we made ourselves some friends. Die! I'm sitting here. Get on your seat. What brings you to New York? Our children. Uh, our children are our dancing. Our children are dancing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Where are they dancing at? Uh, at, at a competition in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, no. We were actually here oh. to be on The View. Yeah, we oh, were yeah? on The View. Yeah, that go? It was great. Nice. It was good. Whoever said New Yorkers were rude never stumbled upon this bar Kelly and I found in Brooklyn. Everyone there was so nice. <laughs> Hello. Kelly and Christy have been at the bar a long time. They seem very happy. Let me just say one thing. How did you get here? Taxi. We took Kelly and I took the subway. Oh my god, I was ready to kill her. She's like, we have to do the New York. We, we have to be like the New York. The we had no idea where we were going, how we were getting here. And we were really worried that we were going to have to live down there. I do want to remind you that a subway is not in a rainforest or a jungle. It's in an urban environment. Like... Hello! I bought your two favorite things! Hi. Little water Hi. lamps! <laughs> you know, this was my 41st birthday, and all I wanted to do was have a good time. That's called a bitch brew. Everybody has a nice oh. little dainty Lolita glass, and I have, like, a jug. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're having so much fun at Kelly's house right now. You know, we're just relaxing, we're not bitching. <laughs> It's just kind of a, it, it's a nice evening. In Chicago, we should go out. Oh, yeah. Like, like what is that called? Uh, Where all the bars are on the one street? Rehab? <laughs> no! I'm going to take a leave of absence for next Yay! year. Next year. So next, next year, oh! I'm... I don't work in 
I never get time to go see my son's hockey games because I'm always here. Mm -hmm. I know, but you weren't working a full-time job and earning a doctorate and so having how come three I can't kids. Seem to fit that in. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not, maybe you ought to give up some of that afternoon drinking. <laughs> I want somebody to try this one on with all the fluff. That is a poofy, poofy dress. Wow, is that a wedding dress? I'm assuming. But I want to wear one of those. She's like, I want to wear that. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh, you want to go in first? No. I don't have any underwear. Welcome to my world. No panties. <laughs> You're a bride. Oh. What's that one? <laughs> I can't believe you're trying on a wedding dress. Me neither. I'm in here for headpieces. You look skinny. You look really skinny in that. It's because it hides your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Never had any intention of getting Botox until we met her. Yeah, but I can tell you right now, you are going to be junkies with it, so you're good. I better keep getting Botox. I don't want anybody <laughs> to think I'm Chloe's grandma. <laughs> How about Jill? Oh, being mad that Kendall's at the bottom oh, of the pyramid. Oh, no, you're brand new. Oh, I'm a team player, but I can't worry about your girls. Kelly and I are at lunch, and of course, the main topic of conversation is the new girl. <gasps> Got. I brought something to show you. I have a book from a competition from a few years ago. Oh, you're kidding me? Because uh -uh. <laughs> I keep my books. Chloe, Maddie, and Kendall all danced in the same age group against one another solos. And Jill never remembered our girls beating her daughter. I remember. Chloe was actually three. Maddie was one. Kendall was 10. Mm. Are you going to take that and show her tonight? I might. Oh, I think you should. She doesn't know what she's messing with, because. I got these books for years back, so if she wants to play that game, I'll pull them all out. Anyone who talks like this all the time just can't be trusted. I have no idea how to make a martini. I'll just pour some in there. Oh. So I'm still trying to figure out what exactly happened with these dance bags. I swear on my life, Maddie said to her, Mom, do you have my dance bag? I think we should steal their bags. <laughs> Next time we'll steal their bags so they get in trouble. Because otherwise they will get. I've never seen them get in trouble you for anything. Dance bags. Well, yeah, Chrissy probably has it up in her room. Maybe. Chloe is suspended. So is her mother. Oh, Christy's calling. What's she? I don't get, get how she cell. returns your phone call but doesn't return mine. When you had an argument with her, you at least said something smart back to her, like, don't talk to me that way or something. I sat there. I keep reaching out to her, and I get nothing. And it hurts. So Kelly, now that you have had your phone on for a whole day, have you tried to call Chrissy again? I've called her three times. She won't answer my phone calls. I'm done. Why are you guys so mad at each other? She so obviously she doesn't want to talk to me. I'm assuming because I said about Chloe losing her hat. Are you guys going to be OK? I have no idea. Sure. I just thought our friendship was better than that. Have you talked to Christy? You know, I talked to her for a few yeah, moments right. yesterday. Yeah. Just for a little bit, not very long. Did she mention my name at all? She did not. Like, I don't even know what to say to her. You know, I wasn't here last week, and all of a sudden, like, I haven't felt more like an outsider in my life here. All around. So why weren't you answering any of my phone calls or my texts all week? You called me once, and I missed it. And I texted you a few times? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Did I answer? No. Well, then I must not have gotten it, because I answer your texts. So why didn't you call me? All I wanted was a phone call from you. That's all, Kelly. When you were going through I called you every day. I did call you. On Friday. You no, never No, I me. didn't. I called you Sunday at the competition, the day you left. Yeah, you called me, and you said, oh, are you OK? I missed my partner and friend. That's all I wanted from you, Kelly. That's all. It's certainly not back to normal for Kelly and I. We're barely talking. I mean, we're not really even making eye contact. What's going on with you and Kelly? Have you had a chance to sit down and no, work it out? No, my feelings are hurt because when it was Kelly in my situation, I was her biggest cheerleader. So how, where do you go from here? I don't know. I'm a ma I have a mess. I, I wasn't myself. I left. I came back. I felt more like myself. But like, I'm the snarky like bitch of the group. I'm not the crier. I'm not the emotional one. And I feel so out of sorts. Did you guys go out last night? No. I'm not talking to her. Whether I called one time or 10 times, she should have called me back. She never answers yes. my calls, too. I don't know what the problem is. Well, I don't think you did anything wrong. I don't either.
Christy, you're awfully Where's that quiet. Fire? Where's that spunk? All gone. You're not a wallflower. Maybe I've turned over a new leaf. There's an elephant in the room, and for once, it's not Abby. Kelly and I have this huge feud going on, and eventually we're gonna have to talk it out. We can't keep going on like this. Christy, if you wanna talk, let's go outside. If you don't wanna talk, we don't have to. You're rolling your eyes. I am a grown up, and if I wanna roll my eyes, I'm entitled to. Okay. Yeah. Why can't we hear? I called you, you didn't call me back. You called me on Friday. Christy, I called when else did no, you didn't. Yes, I and did. if I didn't answer, you should have called again. I you were having did. a problem here. I sat in a parking lot for you to get you and your kids back here. I know you did. And I had the worst here, week. I was sticking up for you. But you should have called me. Else. But you don't know it because you didn't answer my phone call. I called, called you. No, I shouldn't have had to call you, Christy. Are you kidding? I did nothing wrong. I was having a really bad week, and a real friend would have okay. picked up a phone and called but me. But I'm wrong because I said that you talked to Melissa more than you talked to me. You, you hurt my feelings. I and don't. You hurt mine. I and you don't even tell you. me. What else do you want me to do? Get in the car and home. drive to my house. No, I'm not driving to your house. Why? I called you. If you can't answer my phone calls, then f you. F you. F you. Like, seriously, Christy. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. I hope Nia doesn't wear that hat. Because I already lost one friendship over a hat, that hat. I don't want to lose another one. Uh, Kelly, you didn't lose a friendship over a hat. You lost a friendship because you told me to go f myself. You admitted I called you the you one time. You called me once okay, well, why on didn't you call me Friday. Back? Why didn't you call me back? Because you were on the bus with Abby. So I was on the, on the bus with Abby. Having a bad week. When you have a bad week, my like God, I, I practically rock you. Like, are you OK? Just like I'm there for you guys all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when I sat in the car for you? Who was the biggest advocate to get you back on the team? Me. I know that. That's why I, I was your really biggest advocate when we were in And you didn't even call me. I've always thought Kelly was my best friend, but I've seen her true colors. You know, if she's in need, she's a great friend. But if it's someone else, she could care less. And I don't know if I could forgive her for that. Whatever, Christy, I'm not going to sit here and fight with you about it. Okay. It's not worth it. Clearly, our friendship isn't worth it. Clearly. At least now I know where I stand with you. I said you were clearly upset with Abby. You didn't want to take it out I on her, so you took it out on Jill. I was not upset with Abby. Kelly, you were upset about why something. Why were you screaming at me? If anyone, Chrissy should understand why I wouldn't want to start a fight with Abby. Why Chrissy doesn't have my back is beyond me. You didn't stand up for her or yourself with Abby. That's not the Kelly I know. Well, maybe it's the new Kelly that I you know. don't know. You know, you said yourself that you, you don't even think of me as a friend anymore, that I'm I a horrible friend. I never said that. You're full of <laughs> Kelly, and oh, you know Oh, it. well, maybe you should get fined. What'd she just say? <laughs> <gasps> Who just said that? You're taking it out on all of us. I don't even want to hear it, Christy, because remember, I'm a bad friend. You know what? When I sat you here are. the entire week, you were gone and stuck up for you. You know what? Whatever. Kiss you didn't ass. call me because you were pissed off about something else. There. That shows me that you're really not a good friend. Believe me, Christy. I know. I, I won't know, be your friend. Because I kiss ever. everyone's ass to you get do. my kid head. You do. No, I don't. You do. You tell me. You. She's not a best friend. Stop. Yeah. Stop. I really wish you guys could have stuck up for me. I, I, she's speechless. This one's speechless. You know, Kelly, I was actually looking at you and I'm going, come on, come but, on. But I, but I couldn't fight because no, I didn't. Like, I was trying to get you because I wasn't letting her go down. I'm like, come on, then you're not doing anything. And I'm like, maybe that's why we didn't join in. We weren't our partners in crime. Oh my God, Kelly, I need you. I miss so many things with Kelly. I just miss knowing that someone has my back. And clearly, you know, Kelly and I need each other because when we're separated, we don't have the forces to fight evil. But I need you to be my friend because we can fight evil forces like I lost my mojo. Got nothing. Yeah. I think Pappy would be really happy with your performance today. It's hard to see Kelly crying, thinking about the hard times she went through when her father had prostate cancer. And what really hit home to me is that people come and go so quickly in your life. And, you know, I love Kelly. She's like a sister. And even if you don't always like your sister, you always love your sister. Mm -hmm. I know. We need to just get past this. It might not be exactly the same as it was before, <laughs> but life's too short to lose friendships. We're a two for one. No Kelly, no Christy. Because I'm not putting up with these people alone. Mm -hmm.